कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद्भक्ताय नमो नम नमा ओम विष्णु पदाय राधिकाय प्रियात्मने श्री श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत नारायण नामिने श्री कृष्ण लीला कथा ने सुधाक्ष औदार्य मधौर्य गुणैश्च युक्त वरम वरेण्यम पुरुष महांत नारायण नमा त्रिदंडीना भक्त शिरोमणि श्री कृष्ण पादृदयक वृद्धि चैतन्यलीलामृत सार सार नारायण सतत प्रपद्ये जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निद्वैतगदाधर श्रीवासादी श्री गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Let me offer millions of obeisances to what has been done. Guru Dev, Guru Pan, Guru Varga, Nam, Anishta, Santa, Shivam, Guru Tovcha, Guru Pan, Guru Tukoti, Dandava, Dhaal, Present, Past, Future, Vaishnava, Tava, Dandava, Pranam, Vancha, Kalpataru, Vyacha, Kupas, Indu, Jeeva, Cha, Atita, Nam, Pavane, Dio, Vaishnava, Dio, Nam, Nam. And what prompts to everybody? And, uh, <coughs> excuse me again. <laughs> I don't know what to say. So many guests come here, and uh, very difficult not to say. <laughs> very difficult to keep to the time. Please forgive me. You know. So. Mm, Today is Saturday, twenty-first. Huh? Twenty-eighth is Indira Ekasi. Then thirteenth is Vijay Dasmi. Then fourteenth October is Papang Kujay Ekasi. Seventeenth is Purnima. राधा कृष्ण शारदीय राशि यात्रा पूर्णिमा कार्तिक स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सेवेंटीन अक्टूबर एंड दामोदर व्रत कार्तिक व्रत भूज व्रत नियम सेवा ऑल बिगिन मुरारी गुप्ता डिसअपियर डे And then also our Param Guru Dev disappear and take, you know. And then Akash Deep Dhan, huh? It begins. And then. Govardhan Puja is 2nd November. 25th October, Radha Kuna, Prakatya Titi. Then, Gopashtami, Gostashtami, 9th November. Um, then, 15th November is Purnima. Huh? The end of Chaturmasya. Oh, like that. So last time we were 
because Aridas Thakur disappeared day was 17th. Huh? And then, so we were discussing uh, his cash time. Uh, it's uh, many cash times are there. Uh, the power of Aridas Thakur chanting, you know. As we heard uh, uh, Thursday, Yuga Dharma, yeah, you know, Yuga Dharma is actually chanting. Arir Nama, Arir Nama, Arir Nama, Arir Nama, Hello, Nasta, Yuga Nasta, Yuga Dharma. Now, how the We can be strong in that. Uh, Arinam will, will protect us or not? You know, we might have some uh, you know, doubts or misunderstanding like that. That's why Haridas Thakur's life is important in that. That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he, he taught through him this Nam Sankirtan. You know, how powerful it is. So Aridas Thakur appeared even before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. So now this Leela happened uh, even before his uh, appearance. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's. Uh, there are so many uh, is deliverance. Uh, a deliverance of a prostitute. Huh? Ardhas Thakur. Vrindavandas Thakur and Krishna Das Kaviraja glorified it. Chaitanya Mangale Vrindavanda, Haridas is going to teach you Kariya Chanakrata. So, and there are so many good qualities that no one can completely describe him. Huh? But to purify ourselves, we have to describe. Huh? Uh, like that, Vrindavanda Thakur, Krishna Das Kaviraj. Now, this pastime is there was uh, that time Ardhas Thakur was living in this Benapol. Huh? Uh, and there was one person called Ramchandra Khan, who was a landlord there. Huh? He was a Vaishnava Vidveshi. He, he was hating Vaishnava. Uh, and religious, Dharma Vidveshi and Ishwara Vidveshi. If you hate Vaishnava, then you are hating the Dharma and Lord, everything. Huh? Then you hate everybody. See, this is a point. See, if Lord is very dear to her, if we really love Him, Lord is in everyone's heart, is it not? So everybody becomes dear to her. If we hate Him, then we are hating everybody. This is a point. Now, uh, let me expand on this. You know, maybe I've told you. 
like today morning i was explaining in the in our class here yeah. if you yeah, all the words shastra says all the words all the shabda no sound actually referring to krishna it rests in krishna it rests it takes rest in krishna how suppose if say there is a wealthy person in your locality there is a wealthy person you know? now he is wealthy within that locality what about if you consider your district maybe another bigger person wealthy than him state country entire world right you can say oh see he is the wealthiest person in this world we say and then what about wealthiest person in this brahmanda indra we say you know uh, of course brahma you know then beyond this brahmanda many many brahmanda finally it comes to narayan narayan to krishna right actually krishna is more wealthier than narayan right we should understand because there is more wealth in one dust of vrindavan than entire vaikuntha right? of course the madhurya is prominent huh? but wealth wise krishna you know is most wealthy so finally when we say wealthiest person it refers to him now these people become wealthy where their wealth came from by his mercy understand <laughs> these are all small small tiny tiny insignificant insignificant wealthy people but this wealth comes from that most wealthiest person now what is the difference is wealth is if there is no end to it you know there is no it will never decrease is that whereas in the wealthy person here suppose he gives a billion dollar then he becomes a pauper you know so uh, limited wealth unlimited wealth refers to him only okay. but by his mercy we all these all people have become wealth and everybody in the world whatever even a little bit wealth we have is all coming from him now i will give an example now suppose you go to a bank in a bank there is a cashier you know cashier jai jai gaur aarti ki jai gaur aarti gaur a boliya jao ka jeevan kitna chahi bar gaur a bhi hai naam unki parne gaur a kare ki gaur a gaur a gaur a jai jai gaur ma prabhu ki jai ho in a bank there will be cashier is it not so much cash passes through in his hand right wow he is handing so much but can he spend all that cash for his own purpose or can he give that cash money to somebody he likes it can he do no he <laughs> just transaction he is doing transaction going through him but he has no control yeah he, he cannot disperse that money to whoever he likes it. so that means what is he really the owner of that money he is not Uh, the bank or the you know bank wants wants it. He is not. He is not a proprietor. He even though his money is handling, but he has no rights over how to use it. Where he cannot use it on his own accord. Same way, we all have given. 
Krishna has given wealth, good quality, this and that. To utilize in his survey, understand? Suppose if the banker, you know, cashier misuses that, what happens? He takes away some money, packets, spends on something. He will be caught, he will be put into jail, he will be punished. Same way, Krishna has given that all that wealth or whatever facilities, resources, if he misuse it, other than his service, then we will get punished. That's what Maya is doing it. You get the point what I'm saying? So, everything is meant for him. Everything is referred. So, that's why when you say wealth, you should refer back to him. Uh, oh, actually, Krishna ultimately is him. He is bestowing all that so that we can be used in his service, proper way, to uplift people, to make them devotees, to bring them right path, to distribute Mahaprasadam, books. You understand? It should come into our mind when we see that. Then there is nothing wrong. It is very beneficial. Now, what about bad words? <laughs> Suppose you say, if there is a person very poor and miserable, suffering, poor and suffering. You say, oh, very poor and suffering. How to relate it to Krishna? It is also referring to Krishna. How? It's not that Krishna is poor or miserable, no. <laughs> what it is, is Krishna has the power to remove our suffering and our poorness. He has the power. He can also inflict misery and poor on us. But there is no poor or misery in him. Huh? So, like, for example, Radharani say, Triloka Shoka Harini. Shoka Harini. One who can remove all the suffering of the three worlds. Shoka Harini. But is there any Shoka in her, suffering in her? No. But she has that power. So, so what is shoka? You know. Now, it's like the way we can understand is, suppose there is a place where there is darkness. Outside there is a darkness. How the darkness can be? If the sun comes up, darkness is finished. If the sun goes down, then darkness comes there. So, sun can cause darkness and also it can remove darkness. Right? He has the power. Sun has the power to bring darkness or remove darkness. But sun does not have darkness. Can you find darkness in the sun? No. But he has the power to remove and also bring out darkness. So Krishna is also like that. He has no suffering, but he can remove suffering and also he can bring, make them suffer. Not out of kind of, you know, uh, because the Maya is working under his direction. Maya is what, oh, if this person is suffering because he has done something bad and it is coming back to him. 
Maya keeps the account. Right? Now, through the mind activity, it brings karma, karmic law. See? Those are being put into action by the Maya. That is Krishna's in the connection, no? direction. Maya Dakshana Prakriti Sa Chara Chara. So, directly or indirectly, Krishna is what? He can bring misery, he can remove misery. If he is merciful, Krishna decides, then Maya will take away no? his misery. So, uh, like that, you know. We are not independent. Like if we misuse, then we will be get punished. So we everything refer. So if we if we really think like that, then what happens is then there is no need of coming to this world. Why we have come to this world is to see everything actually controlled, regulated by the Supreme Law. That's why we should not try to see part in others to you know, see connection. See everything, Krishna's mercy. Then there is no, uh, the way our Gurudev says, never complain, never criticize, never stop chanting. No. Then you are not in the past or future. See, the past and future comes is when you become, when we forget Krishna. When we forget Krishna, we become captivated in the, you know, by Maya. It puts us into past or future. Oh, what has happened? Oh, oh, it should not have happened. What will happen? Today, one family came. After talking, she was telling, I have this one fear. What is the fear? He showed a picture, my daughter first daughter, died in an accident, just married like that. My other daughter, I'm always fearing whether what will happen to her when she leaves home. You know. See, that's fear. What will happen? Then I was telling her, you know, you are always thinking about the previous daughter, and then now, you know, oh, that should not have happened, happened. happened. Now, Worried about this present data, what will happen? Oh. Then what? Are you in the present? No. So you are being drainage, drained. You are discharging. Because past and future thinking. You are not in the present, you are not getting charged. So fine, gradually you will run down. And then what happens? Completely, you know, taken over by fear, anxiety. Then it brings bad health, uh, you know, BP, sugar, what not, everything will happen. And then how we will remember Krishna, you know. So uh, that's why this Aridas Thakur, um, we should not worry about the past or future. Whatever it happened, we are right now in this position, okay? Don't think of the past or future. Right now we are in what I should do. What is my duty? For Arjuna also, Krishna said, Don't I don't think I've already done that. I've already killed all of you. Just do your duty. No. It is not that if you run away, things will happen in a different way. No. <laughs> You know, it will, uh, it will act according to my will, my desire. You just align your 
desire with mind. Then take the, all the credit. See? So this alignment, uh, this is what the spirituality is. This is what the chanting will make us. You know, see, we think about alignment of the chakra. So our alignment should be our chakras should alignment with the Krishna's chakra. Okay. <laughs> you know. So then there is no problem. So what happened was this Ramchandra Khan, very bad person. So uh, what I was trying to say is if Krishna is lovable, if he's very, very dear to her, then every becomes everybody becomes dear to her. Ardhas Thakur was like that. Everybody was dear to him. But still, there were some people. So, he saw, wait a minute, I'm a wealthy person, but he doesn't have anything, but people are respecting him. What is this? I should get things. He got masterya, enviousness about Aridas Thakur. So he said he wants to bring bad name to Aridas Thakur. No? And then he's saying he is a Vaishnava, he is disguised Vaishnava. He is telling Aridas Thakur is a disguised Vaishnava and he is poor. Yeah, and he's a Muslim. Huh? And he are glorifying him. Huh? How I can tolerate this? Huh? Uh, uh, so, like this, he became envious. When you are envious of Krishna, he will be envious of his devotees. And eventually you are envious of yourself. Huh? So what happened? Then he made a plan. He wanted to find fault in Aridas Thakur. Unless he shows fault in him, how people will listen to him? Huh? Uh, but you could not find not even any one fault in it. Uh, so then what it was, this is what these bad people do. They, he, he, th he thought about Haridas Thakur, no fault, nothing, because he is always chanting and he does not expect anything. Uh, Completely dependent on the Lord. He's not manipulating or anything. So he said, No one will listen to me. So I have to create some bad thing in him. So what he did was, he called some uh, he, he wants to bring bad name to Aridas Thakur. So he brought this prostitute of I I will make use prostitute to bring bad name to him. So uh, and she she he talked with one prostitute, uh, Menaka. Huh? Uh, she is very beautiful. Huh? Uh, so, like Menaka, how oh, Vishwamitra, you know, in, in the Shasta, in the, in the stories come, Vishwamitra was doing thousands of tapasya, and this Menaka destroyed that. And so, what about this? Haridas Thakur is only few 
few days. Uh, so, so thinking like that, he talked to one uh, prostitute. Uh, he is telling her, I want one thing from you that you should destroy Ardhas Thakur's renunciation, Vairagya Dharma Nashkaru. The way Menaka did for huh? Ishwamitra. Then, then the prostitute, prostitute also has this Abhiman, you know, it's feeling. Yes, I can do that. Anybody, oh, what? Aridash Thakur is no way. Just give me a few days, few days. I will get it done. And I will send also one person along with you. So he will be, uh, he will catch both of you. <laughs> I'll give a lot of money to you. Like so, uh, so it is. He planned like that, you know. And and so the way the prostitute, huh, uh, seeing that night time, she dressed very beautifully. Uh, she approached near Ardhas Thakur's Bhajan Kutir. Uh, at that time, he was chanting, Bhava you bore, you know, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. He was not conscious of external things, what is happening. No. Himself and anybody else is completely immersed in chanting. Uh, then, he, you know, Aridas Thakur is Vaishnava. He will put Tulsi there in front of his kuti, uh, kuti room. So when uh, she saw Tulsi, at least she had that good for. Fortune said she paid obeisances to Tulsi. So that itself is a uh, you know service to Tulsi, some uh, good thing some, uh, uh, happening uh, to her. Then she also did pranam to Aridas Thakur. Uh, so, what this this prostitute she followed the, the two anga bhakti unknowingly paying obeisances to Tulsi and also Aridas Thakur, you know. Uh, so she got some Sukruti, no? Vaishnava, huh? Bhakti Sukruti. No? Uh, then what happened? Uh, then uh, then she what happened? Slowly she started taking away her clothes. Then she was showing her body. Uh, then showing nice word, very sweet word. Thakur. Uh, very sweet word. We are very beautiful. Now, now we have, we have entered your youthful age. There, how can there be any lady looking at you? They, they will not like you. They want to control. 
So, seeing your beauty, your usefulness, my mind is becoming disturbing. I want to make your association. My position is like that. Without your association, I cannot leave. Ha! <laughs> See the prostitute is saying. Then, say, the middle of the night is a beautiful lady and very little clothes, and then she is showing her a body, and then she is talking like this. Imagine, bah, what a test. Now, hearing this prostitute's word, Haridas Thakur is saying, I will definitely accept your what you are saying, you know, but what to do? I have taken a vow of finishing certain rounds of Nam Sankirtan, you know, you know. So let you, no? let me finish, you know, and Unless I finish my rounds chanting, I cannot do anything. No. Um, so, till I finish my round, please sit down here. Huh? Now, sit down and hear the Nam Sankirtan. As soon as I finish my round, I will fulfill your desire. I will fulfill your your desire completely. This is what Ardhash Thakur is saying. <laughs> now, <laughs> it's amazing. From an external point of view, it seems like, wow, Ardhash Thakur wants to fulfill our desire. <laughs> right? Actually, you will see later on, you know, what it means. Actually, huh? uh, There's a, there's a secret meaning in his words. Sarizas Thakur, what he's talking is true, but the interpretation, you know, a mundane person will interpret, wow, you see, he wants to engine. But actually, different meaning is there. Aridas Thakur was not looking at our bad thinking. But he was doing Vaishnava Uchit Krupa. Meaning, he asked her to hear most auspicious thing, Arinam, you know, Arinam. You know, hearing Arina, he requested her, and you know, one of the foremost anga of bhakti, hearing, Shravana, Kirtana, Smarana, Vandana, he asked her to hear Shravana, first hear. So, uh, then also Aridas Thakur had a faith, Strongest faith that if Arida, if this prostitute, if she listens this Arina, then what happens? Uh, our mind, contamination in our mind will be finished. And then in the heart, this lusty desires will go far away. And and when I finish my Nama Sankhya, uh, she will inquire from me about the Nama Tattva. She will inquire. At that time, I will accept her request. What? She wants to know more about Nama Tattva. She wants to practice Nama Tattva. 
So I will accept that. See, no. this is why he is telling, I am to fulfill your desire. This is his thinking. Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur, he gave, uh, he gave his word. As soon as I finish my complete round, I will accept your visa. Uh, Nishkapar Sadak. Then thinking that we are a non duplicious sadhaka, huh? I will accept it. Huh? Whatever your questions, uh, doubts, I will give answer. Uh, so, So oh, this is the thing, you know. So he is also you can see, or Gurudev is telling. Um, if really Aridas Taku, if he wants to fulfill the our desire in the mind, uh, he would not have told to, you know, that I want to finish the Nam Sankhya, Purna. Huh? Um, and he would not have protected this thing, you know. So, Aridas Thakir is pure, you know. He is not seeing her as a bad person or anything, you know. He is seeing her Real desire of the, uh, you know, Atma, uh, and to change her attitude, you know. So he gave that opportunity. Uh. So then, what happened? Uh, she did not understand this secret meaning behind him when he said i am going to fulfill your desire so she said wow he's telling he will fulfill my you know desire wow that means wow he will come under my grip so this uh this uh ramchandra khan you know he said will be happy I will get a lot of money <laughs> like that. Uh, then what happened? Um, she agreed, hearing, hearing. What happened? Then morning came. <laughs> then Aridas Thakur is asking forgiveness. Uh, uh, you know, Aridas Thakur could not finish his round. Morning came, then then she just got up and then went away. Uh, then he told Ramchandra Khan, Oh, you know, Aridas Thakur he has given word. Today he will do uh, Hare Krishna. You know, one name Shari, Hare Krishna. You know, let do beka. I to Nin Jatai Nima, you will put the other. I will put it. I don't know. I request. I try. He do liking it, yeah. Huh? Ah. Is back in India. I can Janmas me the Agiri and Gutilla. Try it, yeah. 
ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಶಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಖಾನ್ ಅರ್ಜಾಸ್ ಠಾಕುರ್ ಹಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಮೈ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಶಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದೆನ್ ನೀವು ನೀವು ಟೇಕ್ ಮೈ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ so he will be happy <laughs> then he will catch him with me you know so like that so then next night what happened again she she appeared near arjash thakur uh then same way like previous night he gave her assurance you know please forgive me yesterday i could not huh because of me you got lot of difficulty uh and you have to sit all night uh quietly and then you have to you have to spend all night without sleep please forgive me uh uh i will ask uh and i could not fulfill your desire uh uh so but today uh so please forgive my affair you know apradha i just start with them made an you know offense to you please forgive my affair you know apradha don't accept you know take my apradha. so uh but on the other hand he gave her a chance to hear arinam sankirtan saubhagya you no know? uh, and he actually most well wishing thing he did huh? but outside bahya uh, to encourage her to hear you know this is this is the thing tricks of a vaishnava param vaishnava you know the idea is to give injection vaishnav <laughs> nam sankirtan injection he, he have to use these words you know attractive or uh, you know soothing huh? so arjuna stop uh, doing like that uh that's why we should not give the vaishnava by his own practice he will not give any kind of udvega udvega meaning uh, difficulty you know uneasiness uneasiness to any living entity then he also showed that uh the in reality if you want to show uh how much udhar how much you have to be willing to sacrifice uh, giving up so then again he told i will accept your proposal ha huh? i am i am complete faith that today my nama sankhya will i will finish very quickly and i will fulfill your desire please hear nam nam sankirtan ah uh, i will fulfill your desire as much well. then what happened so uh so ramchandra khan center and to to make arva stakur fall down you know this is what thing uh then 
if she is successful, then she will get so much wealth. Huh? Whatever she asks. Uh, so by that wealth, she can be very happy. Huh? Uh, then Aridas Thakur is telling her, uh, you know, uh, as soon as he's finished, uh, then she is thinking mundane wealth, <laughs> and Aridas Thakur is thinking uh, to give her Namachintamani. Which by that she will herself reject all the wealth in the entire world. You know that that's what is you know he is he understood. Yeah, he is thinking. So uh, even though the uh, the situation is that Aridas Thakur. Uh, So today also she paid obeisances to Tulsi and then she sat down and then Aridas Thakur started chanting. Huh? Uh, then Okay, we are back again. <laughs> uh, then again, morning came out. Uh, uh, then she is telling. Uh, morning came again. He's asking, "Are you cheat, trying to cheat me?" Then I was like, "No, I'm not trying to cheat you. I want to do in one month one forty now. Meaning, uh, I think it's like ten million. Ten million. Huh? No, huh? Japa, huh? Yeah, yeah." yeah. A sankalpa, huh? uh, but my um, estimation is that it will it will finish today, huh? uh, but it will, could not happen. But I think tomorrow, huh? uh, I will definitely fulfill. Uh, then very easily I will associate with you. So then what is the association? Sangha, what is the meaning of that? If you look at Ardhas Thakur, the prostitute is thinking, uh, is, is, he, he wants to associate with my body and then Indriyas, right? But Ardhas Thakur, Udesha, not like that. Ardhas Thakur, uh, is, he wants to fulfill the Vasana, you know, the desire in a, in a mind. Huh? Sang Arthas means Sama Sang Sam Arthas Samyak Gam Dhatukan Sampur Chirukal Kaliya Prasanga Sangha meaning for forever. See, this is mundane. Suppose if you are associating with body, how long you can associate? His body is already dying, he's already. Smelling rotten and all that. 
So Sangha meaning is the eternal thing, eternal. So, uh, so that's why the body's association with the body is not going to happen forever. This body uh, is going to get destroyed. But I want to turn into do bhajan. Huh? Uh, Nitya Prabhu ke saath. I will make her associate with Krishna for a hour. Huh? Uh, so I will make bring that sambandha, you know, relationship with Bhagavan. Huh? Uh, then no one can. You know, that Samanda will be forever. You know, that means we are forever will be with Krishna. So this is what association he is talking. See, I mean he's teaching so many things. When we say association, we think so many things, you know. Like the way we were telling. Every word, good word or bad word, actually associate, you know, finally rest with Krishna. So all association is rest with Krishna. So that's what Arjuna Stakur is talking. So then one question happens, why you did not do first day? Uh, tomorrow I will do. Uh, Because the prostitute's consciousness is still not, uh, is getting purified, but not yet to that state. Uh, so, I'll tear up the Papa Vasna, you know, by hearing this Nam. You know, he, Arigas Thakur, he knows it will be removed completely. Uh, false enjoying tendency will completely finish. So, uh, so that's why he is telling, tomorrow I will do, uh, freely I will associate with you. So, Vesha again, she came back. Uh, Today, please, <laughs> third night. You must meet with me, you must associate with me. Uh, uh, then, then she came, huh? then she, like regular day, two days, she, you know, she paid obeisance to Tulsi and Arida Stakur. And uh, now, also looking at it, today, my Arinam Sankhya will be going to finish. I will definitely fulfill your desire. Vesha, huh? so she sat on the on the border, and then she, you know, Nam Sankirtan hearing, and then she is also saying Hari 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 Hari. Huh? So, Ardhas Thakur, morning, what happened by the Association of hearing Aridas Thakur's chanting all night uh, in his association. And what happened? Prostitute's mind got completely transformed. And uh, in her heart, the desire of fulfilling her. Senses, you know, desires of senses got, di di you know, disappeared, went far away. Then she started feeling bad about her own behavior. Huh? And then she started feeling, you know, like Agni Tapa, you know, like, oh, I was so bad, my Acharan, I'm a prostitute, I'm, you know, this, I'm done, all this. And she's burning in the fire, you know. 
uh, I'm so bad. See? see, now she can see her own uh, disease, meaning. Before she's thinking, I'm beautiful, I'm enjoying, you know, all this. But now she's saying, oh, what a bad person I am. I'm filthy. I'm rotting. I'm lousy. And, you know, all these things. Uh, I'm lusty. Uh, and Aridas Thakur is such a controlling his senses. And he's singing, chanting one's name. And he's uh, and his paradukkha dukkhi, you know. She, she now he understands, she understood that actually he, he bestowed greatest mercy on her and purified her disease, you know. Once he got that, oh, <laughs> fear on me, fear on me, my behavior. Uh, and I came to destroy his good qualities. Oh, she started shaking. See, started shaking. Then she started crying and she fell at the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur. Oh, I came because of the instruction of Ramchandra Khan to make you fall down. And I came with a bad intention. From me, I have committed greatest offense at you, at, uh, to you. And as a prostitute, I have done so much sin. I am most fallen. I am lower than any animal. Please have mercy on me. Please elevate me. Please elevate me. Like that, uh, she fell and then she praying. Then, then Aridas Thakur is telling, she is telling, I know, Ramchandra Khan sent you. I understood his, his plan. I knew this one. And I understand he is a, he is a stupid, ignorant. And what fruit he is going to get? Uh, now he I, I understand. He does not understand. I would have left from the day one, from this place. But I stayed here to only to elevate you, to bring auspicious to you. So I stayed here for three days. Huh? So we understand this, this Ekantik Namaparayan, Ardhas Thakur. You know, he is a Namaparayan, you know, he is one pointed now, Ardhas Thakur. And also to bring about the the glories of the holy name in, into this world, you know. Paramakaruna, Bhaktavasala Bhagavan. So I am, he himself gave inspiration in the heart of Aridas Thakur to elevate this. Huh? So this is Krishna's arrangement. You know? uh, so we can very clearly see uh, by the like a Mahat Vekti, you know, like Aridas Thakur. 
and by the mercy of Nama Prabhu, even the most sinful person, uh, in this world, he can actually taste the sweetness of Nam. Uh, he can make his life successful. Then, the prostitute is telling, O Ma, O Mahasaya, O Great One, now please tell me, give me instruction, what should my duty? Uh, I want to finish this birth death creation. Cycle of birth. No? I want to. She understood all this. No? Listening to Bhakti, listening to Arinam, you see, Bhakti came on the other Another desire. What? I want to end this birth and death cycle. Then Arda Staku, hearing that, see, beforehand he said, I'm going to remove all your doubts. His mind, right? Now he's removed. Now what you do, you go to your home, all the articles that you collected, give it to Brahmana as a charity. Then you come to this Kuti again. Stay here. You do non-stop Arinam and then service to Tulsi. If you do this very quickly, you will attain the lotus feet of Sri Krishna. Huh? And the side effect of, of getting uh, Krishna's lotus feet, uh, you are Bhavabandana, you know, you become free from this world huh? uh, by side effect. You go away. So, saying that, he gave Arinam mantra to her and himself telling Hari Hari, uh, he gave up that place and then went away someplace else. Uh, so, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur is writing. So we here is telling
Hello, Krishna. I don't know if pronounce you look good. You're muted. So what he's saying is, the disciple well belongs to Guru, but the Vaishnava Guru, he will not accept the disciples, all this property and all that. So I am, huh? but it does not. Uh, You know, he says he is not interested in that. Huh? Uh, that's why he says he distributed to other Brahmana, huh? other Vaishnavas. Uh, so the Vaishnava Guru disciples Arivimukata Uspanna Karnevara. All this, this wealth and all that, it will create you know, taking away from Krishna. Uh, uh, he will say it is engaged in the service of Krishna. Aridash uh, Thakur is giving this picture. Uh, then, prostitute went home and all the wealth she had, whatever she had, without thinking about her future. Huh? Then she gave charity to all the brahmanas. Then shaving herself, huh? wearing one dress. Uh, and then she came to that place, huh? then crying every day. Three lakh now, you know, three lakh now, Arina started chanting. And then she was feeling so uh, happy, huh? blessed. And then she was doing service to Tulsi. And whatever being easily attained, attained, she was happy with that. Uh, just to, uh, whatever, if somebody brings something, she accepted. Otherwise, she would pass. Then, uh, instruction of Aridas Thakur. And because of following the pure Naam, huh? in very short time, she able to control all her Indriyas, huh? and she attained love for Sri Krishna. Prasiddha Vaishnavi Haila Param Mahanti, Bada Bada Vaishnava Tardasi. So, she became Mahan Vaishnavi, and then became very famous, and many, many Great Vaishnavas is to come, we have a darshan have. And then, seeing a prostitute changing like that, Parivartan, Charita, everybody became astonished. And they started glorifying Arjas Thakur. Wow, look at her. She was an ordinary, hopeless, worthless prostitute, but now you see, she is worshipable, Vaishnavi. Bah. What a Mahan, what a Aridas Thakur ki jai, what a great. No. She came to destroy his name, but on the other hand, Aridas Thakur made her famous. Making her famous, he also became more famous. Uh -huh. Not that he wanted. No? Uh, so, this is how it is. Mercy of the Holy Name. And also, it is also true that Vaishnava will not accept anybody's aparada. 
and he does not consider himself as Vaishnava. See, this is the thing. A Vaishnava does not consider himself as Vaishnava. So if somebody brings him any suffering or difficulty, then he, he, say, he thinks, oh, it is his own karma, the fruit of his karma that I have done. So he will not hate. But Bhaktavasala Bhagavan, uh, he will not forgive that, that person, one who brings difficulty to his devotee. Huh? So, uh, that's why if you offend Vaishnavas, then everything will be destroyed for some person. But for some, the fruit, Vaishnava fruit, get immediately or sometimes get delayed. Huh? So, uh, then what happened? Um, Uh, Ardas Thakur, huh? you know, like offending, you know, it grew up like a big tree, huh? Ramchandra Khan. Then, uh, one time, No, Nityananda Prabhu is Sarvaj, he knows everything. Takshad Baladev. He is, he is preaching Prema Bhakti. Then Pashanda pa Dala. Then he came there, Ramchandra Khan's place, Durga Manta. There is a people keep one place, Durga, where worship of Durga. Huh? There are so many other Vaishnavas along with him. Uh, then Ramchandra Khan, you know, because he is Vaishnava Aparadi, he offended Arizash Thakur, and uh, seeing Nityananda Prabhu. Coming there, uh, oh, he is told you uh, go away. Mahatma Ji uh, is telling Ramchandra Khan has sent me. Uh, it is his house, uh, it is not an ordinary uh, house. He cannot stay here. You go to some place, there are so many people, this place becomes small. Huh? If Goshala is big, big uh, uh, I will take you all, uh, I'll leave you there. Hearing this, Nityananda Prabhu became very angry. So, Nityananda Prabhu understood he has offended Haridas Thakur to give uh, to punish him. See, Nityananda Prabhu has come and he, he told in the future Ramchandra Khan is actually telling to this house is not proper for me to stay here. Huh? Those nature, one who kills the cows, they will come and stay here. Huh? It is for them to better. 
So say, saying it left. Uh, then what happened? Uh, then, you know, some later on, you know, he has some misuse, some taxes and all that. The Lecha Muslims came and then destroyed his house. And they killed all, you know, cows there and then did so many bad things. So, uh, so, Mahanter Apaman, J. Desh Gramiha, Yek Janar Doshe, Sab Desh Ujai, Jada. In other words, that place or village where a great person, the Vaishnava, Apama, meaning disrespect happens by even one person's fault. Entire area or entire village will be get destroyed. It's so bad, Vaishnava Prat. Uh, then uh, so this is what we have to be very careful. So, Aridas Taku ki jai, Nama Prabhu ki jai, Nama Sankirtan Yajna ki jai, Nama Acharya Aridas Taku ki jai, jai, jai. So, this is how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teaching the greatness of Nama Tattva. Huh? So, Great personality. So we pray at the lotus feet of Haridas Taku. Oh, why is no Taku? Namachar Haridas Taku, ya mercy on us. Give the strong faith. Chanting of the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Dhanot Pranam to everyone. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Dhanot Pranam Guru Dev. Rama Rama. Dhanot Pranam Guru Dev, Dhanot Pranam.